You know the song, Girls, 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 by Motley Crue? Specifically, there's a line in that song that goes, Raising Hell at the Seventh Vale. Well, wouldn't you know it? This is the place. Now, this is actually my old neighborhood. While I'm no Tommy Lee, I've had my fair share of fun here as well. Now, what does any of this have to do with video games? Well, nothing. But today, we're going to take a look at golf on the NES. And I couldn't come up with anything better. So let's take a look. I never had the patience, aptitude, or attention span needed for a full 18 holes of golf. Plus, I'm not married, I don't have any kids, nor do I even work a typical soul-crushing 9-to-5 job where golf would provide the kind of escape that those types of things might necessitate. Now, I do enjoy the off-course scaled-down versions of golf, such as a driving range or even better yet, top golf, where drinks and catering are part of the deal. I've even got a little putting green out on my patio, which includes a sand trap that may or may not contain a few cat turds on any given outing. Unfortunately, the patio putting green breaks to the right, and there's typically a pug hazard that can be unpredictable. Beyond that, I've also got a couple golf game apps on my phone that are, you know, decent if you need to kill some time. So it's not that I've got anything against golf, it's just that I'm no good at it. So, how does golf on the NES stack up? Well, it's one of the original black box Nintendo games and was so immensely popular, it ranks as one of the all-time top 10 best-selling games on the system. Which is no surprise considering seemingly so many people had this game back in the day. The gameplay uses a power and accuracy bar that's still commonly used in current day golf games, but personally I find the whole thing incredibly boring. You play as Mario or some other paunchy middle-aged schlub dressed in a white or red polo, depending on if you're player one or player two. There's no music, and the sound effects are uninspired to say the least. The power and accuracy bar was an innovative idea, but it's been done to death. Plus, this type of gameplay just seems to me like some sort of reflex test. Now, enough toxins have passed through my body to the point where my reflexes aren't quite as cat-like as they used to be. The idea of sitting in silence through 18 holes, all tensed up on the edge of my seat, just trying to hit two tiny marks, doesn't exactly sound like fun. But you know what does sound like fun? The Body Shop, which is located in my current neighborhood of West Hollywood, on LA's infamous Sunset Strip. And not unlike the Seventh Vale, was also featured in the Motley Crue song, Girls, Girls, Girls. It even includes Girls, Girls, Girls right on the sign. Anyway, I need to get some singles, so that'll do it for golf on the NES.